We, we had a lot of good people on the panels. Um, we had um, uh, Terry Howard from the Miami Dolphins. Part of their mobile engagement strategy was really uh, developing their own uh, technology within their stadium so people could see uh, uh, clips and, and videos and, and highlights anytime they want, when they want, uh, in a high, very high uh, um, uh, crisp value and, and, and quality. Uh, we also had um, uh, members from Point who have developed a, a nice location-based application. And you know, when we cited uh, what we do, which was um, a Black Friday campaign that we had just done with a major retailer, where we experienced a 4x a conversion uh, by using location-aware SMS messaging. We all know how businesses work. We get incredibly busy. When we meet digital marketers, they've already got seven to ten things going on. Um, we're bringing them a new one. Um, unlike uh, using a Twitter uh, account or using Facebook or one of those, mobile is very complicated. You, you have to get your head around it. If you're going to deliver an application, which, I, which, which, which OS do we, we lead on? How does that work? Who do I outsource that to? Um, and so we're trying to take a different approach. Uh, in the U.S., um, SMS continues to grow in ways that people never thought it could. The Pew Institute uh, issued a, uh, a recent study and what, it, within the study, they, they, they cited you know, the adoption of SMS uh, in the U.S. And um, you know, what they really noted was that uh, SMS adoption in the United States is, is really off the charts. For the under 25 group, they're, they're uh, sending on average in the you know, 100 a day, 3,000 a month. Uh, and, um, and, and this is a, just, just a really, really interesting situation. And, and, and one of the reasons they cited was that smartphone adoption has actually um, put a better user experience for a lot of U.S. citizens and, and, and subscribers to send text messages. So the number one thing they're doing with their smartphones is sending text messages because the user experience is so good. Juniper put out a recent report that stated that the application to person SMS market in the U.S. is going to be a gigantic market that will actually eclipse the person to person market. So what that means, uh, what does that mean? Uh, that means that we're all sending text messages to each other quite well. But um, businesses have yet to really uh, you know, use uh, SMS to drive business to, to consumer marketing. So, um, so for many marketers, I think this is a missing, you know, when you see smartphones and you see mobile internet, you see all these things happening, you forget that there's this big opportunity in, in SMS marketing uh, in the U.S. that hasn't yet to be explored by brands. It's, it's one of these things that I look at from, you know, 30,000 feet, which is how long did it take email to evolve into the digital marketing channel it is today? Uh, over 10 years. So, um, so even though we've been using uh, SMS for premium rate, uh, for downloads, for person to person, the market to, for application to person is going to be, you know, another 10 years in coming where we, you talk about the long tail of all businesses being able to use this as a great interactive channel. In order to see better adoption, brands have to understand the value of, of SMS utilized in this way. And I think, you know, um, there is some technology that's happened for us. Uh, we're a location-aware marketing company. Location, the type of location we use, which is off of cell towers, which is available across the four big carriers in the U.S., only became available in December of, of last year. So now when we walk into brands and we say, look, not only can we just do bulk SMS messaging, if you've got 300 retail locations across the U.S., we can pinpoint which message to send to which one. Suddenly, this feels game-changing to them. So the tools have been there. The, the technology continues to evolve, but, but the marketers have to, to come on board and want to try this.